worse, but I'll come back to that. So the eighth ranked Cincinnati Bearcats, um, and I have a problem with this because how the fuck are the Cincinnati Bearcats eighth in the country? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That, That's that, an interesting line. Like, I've never seen the top twenty-five ever like that. This bad? I mean, North Carolina is North Carolina is legit though. But, I mean, yeah, but like, still, Miami got curb stomped by Clemson. I still don't like that. How Ohio State and Penn State, who have yet to play a game, are, are highly in the top ranked. Ten, yeah. I don't but, think that they should count this as a real season. I mean, yeah. people Fair are point. playing in. You know, you got to give people something to do. That's what, you know, they're like, hey, this, we analyze college to the extent. I mean, but it's, yeah, it's, I mean, this this season is obviously going to be asterisk, but you got to be fair. Like, those who are playing, they deserve recognition, especially at That's that level. Fair. I mean, it's, it, they're, they're, they're everything that everybody's trying to play for is so that everything is as normal as possible. So it's like, I, I do feel like if people are playing, they should be recognized for it. Um, but it's just the level of how everything's going. It's just like if if it's a win, it's going to be SEC team regardless, and who cares? Not as much as you think, but I do. I did tweet out uh, earlier that like I think a two loss Alabama is still. Wait, <laughs> shout out to Bruce from Courtside said that Carl Jr. is the Clippers of fast food. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> Under delivers. Overproduces shit you don't want. Just gives you Which, things you the don't way, want. Which, by the way, I would that in my rag, but they took away the um, Southwest chicken sandwich. You can burn it. Which hell was and a die. staple. They can burn it in hell and die for that. In my childhood. Not even the salad. They took the salad away, too? Honestly, their menu was, like, weird. They tried to, like, simplify it, I guess. They didn't need to simplify they it. Like just six lower things? your fucking prices. <laughs> for real. Uh, <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, I should dude. not feel like I'm selling a kidney. I gotta, like, suck dick for crack to... Sell that, bro. How is your bur- how is your burger and lukewarm Chris cut fries more than a fucking baby back ribs at Chili's? Why are your burger patties <laughs> always <laughs> lukewarm, what the bro? Fuck? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Why do burger patties be lukewarm but everything else be hot? Why the fuck are the tomatoes hot but the meat is cold? Oh. Bro, <laughs> explain that to me. Their slogan should be the only place you can pay thirteen dollars for a burger and not get a drink. I know strip clubs Damn. with better food prices than Carl's Jr. Anyways. Several, but it, go ahead. I'm only Back speaking for myself. Football. I'm only speaking for myself. Speaking of strip clubs, college football. So yeah, uh, shout out to the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Um, unfortunately, their time being undefeated and ranked in the top 25, they're 21st. They uh, lost to Coastal Carolina, and Coastal Carolina's uniforms literally look like some ugly shit out of a movie. And they have a stupid mascot. I don't even like. I, like their their mascot, their their nickname for the team is so dumb. I'm just gonna call it Cunnilingus because it's a word that I just I don't want to. <laughs> what? Cunnilingus? Guess, no, it's like look up the actual word, like the name for the team. I'm just like I'm just gonna call you that because no one's ever gonna call you. Like you have a stupid name. You have a name so stupid. I'd rather use a word that has nothing to do with your team to call you that because you suck. <laughs> But anyway, shout out to Cunning Linguistics. That was a great group and a great play on words. It was a great rap group. But anyway, yeah, they lost to Coastal Carolina. <laughs> Coastal Carolina is undefeated. Um, and the Sun Belt is cannibalizing itself. The Sun Belt. Of all, like, who would have thunk it? First, when the season started, I'd have been like, oh, Appalachian State's going to run away with it. Nope, Coastal Carolina and their fucking teal green Uncle Rico high school football <laughs> uniforms out here. Looking like some discount football team that you create on Madden out here undefeated. It's like sponsored by the Goodwill. (laughs) Shit. Sponsored by Goodwill. (laughs) Some Goodwill put into those pants, which is like teal, I guess. It's a cool color green, but it looks like some shit that like, you know those old soda cups that are like blue and and and, and yellow? Yeah, why my tie-dye shirt look like that last time? Yeah. I was mad, bro. Look good. It looks like some shit that a hype beast would wear on on their shoes. But then they just spread out the whole color and put it on a uniform. It's gross. But yeah, Coastal Carolina's undefeated. Uh, <clears throat> uh, furthermore, 18 Florida Atlantic players and staffers had COVID-19 last week. They still played. Uh, Syracuse safety, Andre Cisco. How many? Nine, uh, 18. Good Lord. It was like, I think, nine and nine as far as staffers go. Staffers and players. 
Uh, Syracuse safety Andre Cisco, great last name. Hopefully he doesn't tackle uh, like he's fucking rolling around in Crisco. He declared for the draft. He got injured in warm-ups a few weeks ago. <laughs> I had to get that joke off and it rhymed. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, shoot. So, yeah. Um, he declared for the draft. He was just, like, seen as like a third-round pick or second-round pick. And Pete has a COVID <laughs> cough. <laughs> I'm joking. He doesn't. Not funny. <laughs> I know. I hate those jokes, dude. I was yeah, clearing my throat, throw, you bro. asshole. My, every time I cough, my dad is like, do you have COVID? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. I just coughed, man. My, my, just my wife gives me your dad? Yeah. To our show. She'd be like, I mean, she's like, you don't have it, do you? I'm like, no, you no. Don't. I don't understand. Is he got drops is on Is he about show? to get the doors locked on her one oh, night he, when she comes home? He has like five drops on his podcast. I'm First she called out them. Carol. Now she just did the old man voice for her pops. <laughs> 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 she be sneak dissing and we like, gotta go back and listen to catch it I'll like sniffle and he's like grounded grounded <laughs> <laughs> don't go anywhere don't hiccup or you're getting uh, your car taken away that's fucked up <laughs> shout out to pops yes, yes. love my dad love my dad oh man um, <laughs> and speaking of uh, you know more COVID Florida <laughs> Holy shit. What's going on in Florida this week? <laughs> <laughs> Flying monkeys throwing shit at people. Ah. But they're golden turds with diamonds. Shout out to Trick Daddy. <laughs> okay. Fuck Trina, but yeah, shout out to Trick Daddy. You didn't even pick the best Trick Daddy intro. It's the Ooh. Let's Go one. Nah, that's everybody the, that's, that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Nah, 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 that was that's fire. the cloud one. Nah, nah, and that was when he was working with Atlanta and shit. It is that's true, but it was still dope. But yeah, so I'm Florida, a thug is like that that Florida culture that fucking you go to Florida, ugly what? ass teeth and bright ass colored uh, fucking the dude from cars. Queen and Slim. Yeah, pretty much. I hate that dude in real life. I was so mad at the end of that movie. I really like hate that dude. I hope he got hit in the face. Damn. With the two by four. Go ahead. Fucking, continue. That movie that movie made me mad. But anyway. You really did hate that movie. I was like, bro, why do you hate that movie? I fucking hate that movie. So oh my god. First off, who the fuck hops a fence? <laughs> There's a bunch of horses. You're trying to get to Florida. That was the worst, bro. I was like What the fuck? I would have shot your ass. You I wouldn't have cleared that fence. I haven't seen that yet. Riding one it's of on my HBO fucking right horses. Now. How dare you? That horse was probably a virgin. You didn't know what was happening. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know Queen if I want to movie? watch this movie anymore. Oh, <laughs> what, what are we asking? What movie is it? Queen, Queen and Slim. Slim. Queen and Slim. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's it's honestly pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. It's well done. If you just pretend you're like fucking stupid and lobotomized for 20 minutes, yeah, it's a great movie. Because hmm. there's like sections of that movie that make no sense in real life. It makes no sense even if you suspend your disbelief. You're like, I would never do this. No one in a movie, like that's what you came up to in the writer's room? He hopped a fence and rode a fucking horse. Oh okay. yeah, but sounds cool at first. Yeah, but <laughs> that's how, all, that's <laughs> how everybody feels when they mount okay, the horse. But how you're talking about it is like, yeah, but like I don't the, know why it just the took moment me out. was a lot bigger. It, it the moment was like, oh, I'm about to die and I've never rode a horse and there's a horse right here. It took me. Let out me ride this horse. It wasn't like, oh, let me go out of this way and get this horse. And then when they so were like, like Yeah it doesn't out make of the sense car. But when you actually Add context to it Like it's part of the movie It was kind of dumb bro It says 90% like this movie So Kenny And it was part, I liked it but that and it was That part, part took me out And it was Ken, like the, Kenny's a 10% <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Basically what happens is I'm a hard 5% What happens on that is one? These people go on a blind date And then And we're not explaining Queen and Slim in the middle <laughs> Well you started Taking shots at it So now I have to defend Queen and Slim <laughs> <You're> <laughs> Basically it starts with They go on a blind date God they get into a situation with the police. It was Tinder, too, wasn't it? Yeah. They get into a sit and, like, the date was bad. Racist cop. So, they're going home. They get into a situation with the cop. End up killing the cop. And they're like... Cop shoots the chick. Beats him up. Well, he's beating him yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Him there's, up there's, there's a bunch of shit. The, the chick they didn't do lawyer. anything. But they ended, the cop ended up They were up black there. in the wrong place. And they were like, well... One of them was like, oh, we should just tell the police. And the other one was like, are you the kidding me? Wrong, well, why are we going to tell the police? Uh-huh. And so... They go through this whole thing, go through this whole journey, and basically are running away from the police. Follow them. Oh, damn. And yeah, oh, real so. Bonnie, not Bonnie and Clyde, but it was like real. Like Queen and Slim. Yeah. There you go. And a horse. But yeah, I mean. A horse, a horse, of course, of course. But yeah. 
that that part of the movie took me out of it. I was like, fam. How do we go from Florida to that? Oh, yeah, because Florida, <laughs> where weird <laughs> shit happens all the time and people get COVID, Florida had, and they just came off a big win. Actually, no, they came off a loss against Texas A&M. They lost at uh, Texas A&M, like, 41 to 38 or some shit like that, and they were ranked fourth in the country, and they are supposed to have a Heisman contender in Kyle Trask. But, no, since they lost... Uh, and that was Jimbo Fisher's first big win ever at Texas Tech. Florida has 29 COVID cases, 19 positive Good tests, Lord. and 10 exposures. So the Florida LSU game, like, hey, which, who's going to salvage their season? That game's postponed. And that's like a huge decider in the SEC. <clears throat> Florida's SEC East, LSU's SEC West, and LSU's kind of already out of the national title picture picture because the who they lost to uh, Mississippi State but if Florida wins out they could take the SEC East because it's kind of weak but also since Alabama and Georgia are still on pace to play each other this week even though Nick Saban and Greg Barr and the athletic director both have COVID and Alabama's ranked second and Georgia's ranked third it's a total shit show with the SEC and Florida having this game postponed Pretty much a lot of these games that are being postponed are getting pushed to like mid December. So when they say we're gonna have title games and all this other shit done by mid December, realistically it's not gonna be done till January if they even finish the season. It's really kinda hard. You can't keep rescheduling and postponing all these games. No. Whether it was hurricanes or natural disasters and the Saints might play at Tiger Stadium from here on out. Like it's a lot of stuff going on. To be outdoors. Yeah. Um, and also like hurricanes and COVID and shit. Yeah. I, uh, another thing, this is kind of small. If you know about Occidental College in Eagle Rock, they're ending their football program. Wow, really? Yep. That's crazy. I knew somebody who played for them. Yeah, I feel like Andrew has some Occidental College stories. Good times. Oh, we know Obama does. You mean Barry? With an ah. A? With an A? Wow. I never trust anybody named Barry with an A. They're a fucking serial killer. <clears throat> Name one dude Barry Were they s- That's your trust Were they uh, Fantasize about white girls There's a kid I went to school With named Barry And he was so funny He may or may not Have been killing people <laughs> He may have been His way to real people in. This might be the trigger For it right here <laughs> It's like he's calling He's listening in today He's like You know what Kenny's right Like and What's his last name Barry Oh fuck that guy Now I'm in danger <laughs> Barry with an E You can trust Barry with an A that it's was a his coin first flip. name, though, so that oh, would be... Oh, you definitely can't trust him. Oh, shoot. <laughs> his first name is Barry with an A. Oh, he's probably... Yeah. Just prepare. Just be safe. That's all I can say. <laughs> wow. So, anyway, speaking of um, snobby schools in the SEC, Vanderbilt <clears throat> for 300. So, Vanderbilt versus Mizzou got postponed because of severe and undisclosed COVID outbreaks at Vanderbilt. Now, you need 53 people... To field the team for a college football game, they barely had fifty six, and they got <laughs> blown out by South Carolina. All in doing so, yeah. In college, there's like a hundred people on the sidelines. Yes, you could have like ninety people suited up, and to think that they were three people away from not making it. How many red shirts got burned? Right. And then Lane Kiffin says there's a huge outbreak uh, at Ole Miss, COVID, but they still want to play Arkansas this week. Arkansas out here upsetting people. Actually winning games in the SEC. I'm still not walking back my take that Arkansas is trash. But they're better. <laughs> they're coming out of their trash. Out of their trash heap. They're, they're like, if, if, if the climb was playing in Arkansas's locker room, I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, Big 12 news. We're at, that point at, we're at that point in Arkansas where they play that song. Can't keep running away. The far side? Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> like this and it's the Arkansas spot. side, not the Texas side of Arkansas. <laughs> it's the Arkansas, Arkansas side. But yeah, so on the Big 12 news. I just feel like my life is always at that point. <laughs> it's just a, a repeat. Are you background. telling us something <laughs> <I> z- subconsciously? <laughs> Do you want to run away? Go ahead. Sorry. Maybe you should listen to Natasha Bedingfield. You might get a pocket full of sunshine. Wow. That's Did all you just you... make a now fucking 25 reference right now? That, first off, 
We're not gonna shit on that song because <laughs> everybody <laughs> fucked with that song up. when it came out. Nah, nah. <laughs> y'all gonna y'all gonna make me pound Take the table for an attack. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> like I know killers who love.